of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, and, and also with you. Praise God who loves us. Praise, Praise God, God who cares. cares. Good morning to all of you watching this at this strange time in the life of our world. Today is Mothering Sunday, a day when traditionally all went back to their mother church to the place where they were nurtured, loved and formed into the ways of God. Today, of course, we often also celebrate Mother's Day, a day to thank those who have mothered us in all the ways we can be cared for. It is usually a day of celebration when we draw together with family and loved ones. And so this day is a strange one for those of us here in England and in many parts of the world, when we are torn between our need to keep life going, to celebrate relationship and kindness, and the fear and the imposed isolation that we face. A day when many of us are not able to be with those whom we love or care for, loved ones considered to be vulnerable or at risk. Maybe this means this is a good Sunday, for us to call our churches and our nation to prayer and action. At difficult times we have a choice to focus on fear, on ourselves, on what we cannot do, or we can turn to God and let God lead us into praying for the world and letting prayer flow into creative action. This is what we want to do today. To remind ourselves that life carries on, there is much to celebrate in our communities, to listen to the voice of God's caring love for us and his encouragement to turn ourselves towards others and how we can care for those around us in person or virtually. In line with this, I feel I must add that this service was filmed here at Lambeth Palace in the Crypt Chapel with the absolute minimum number of staff and people necessary to carry it through. Today we are separated in space, but we are still united in worshipping together before the throne of God, our Saviour. And so please do join in from home, in prayer, in responses, even in singing, and let us worship together. I'm joined in this service by my colleague, the Reverend Dr. Isabel Hamley, and the lessons will be read by my wife, Caroline. We'll also be joined from time to time by Noises Off as we live in the centre of a busy part of London. 
So this morning we pray and place before God the life of our world. And we light this candle to remind us that the love of God is like a light in our darkness. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. On this Mothering Sunday, when many are far from family, friends or loved ones, we light a candle for all those we cannot be physically present with. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. We light a candle for all who are sick, all who are in hospital, all who struggle with pain, fear and sadness, and all who are grieving this day. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. We light a candle for all who are isolated, lonely and worried at this time. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. We light a candle for all those who care for others, whether as family or friends, or as doctors, nurses, carers, and all the health professionals we are so deeply thankful for. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. And on this Mothering Sunday, we light this candle for all mothers who have loved and laughed and laboured as they cared for their children. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. We light a candle for all mothers who have wept in sorrow and joy for their children. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. We light this candle for Jesus, born of a woman and nurtured in her love, and for Mary, a reminder of your patient waiting love. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. And this morning we come before God and in a moment of quiet bring before God the brokenness of the world and of our lives. So let us call to mind our sin, our failure to value the love of others and our failure to love as Christ loved us. Your love gives us life from the moment of conception. We fail to live as your children. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You call us to do good. We seek our own good. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You hear us when we cry for help. We ignore the cries of others. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise God who loves us. Praise God who cares. God of love, passionate and strong, tender and careful, 
Watch over us and hold us all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 3 to 7. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation with which we ourselves are consoled by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are abundant for us, so also our consolation is abundant through Christ. If we are being afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. If we are being consoled, it is for your consolation, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we are also suffering. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our consolation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Jesus, like a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Dispected to hope through your sweet goodness, through your gentleness we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead, your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy heal us. In your love and tenderness, make us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 19, verses 25 to 27. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord God, who speaks to us through your word, Open our hearts and minds to hear today, in this time of trouble, what you are saying to us, to find your hope and see your life afresh. Amen. There are some places that speak to our hearts very powerfully. For me, there are bits of London where I was born and a section of the North Norfolk coast around a village called Blakeney. It has memories of my grandmother's house 
of cold winters and a farm, of security of summers messing about in mud and sand, or later on in a boat. It has good memories. Many of my friends in Africa, however long they've lived in the big city, talk about my village in the same way. Mothering Sunday is about place, about knowing where we're rooted, what gives us life, how we're related to others. It's a place for starting from and returning to. In ancient tradition, we return to the church where we were baptised, where we grew in faith, the church that mothered us spiritually. Today, many of us are disconnected from our roots, from our mother place. Lacking roots, we now have to find ways to make a place of safety and welcome for other people at a difficult time. The temptation is to pull up the drawbridge and just look after ourselves. That's the kind of thing that leads to panic buying, to growing fear and to spiritual and emotional as well as physical isolation. It destroys us. In our reading from St John's Gospel, we heard how Jesus created the first Christian community even while he was hanging on the cross. Two people especially were left alone by his death, his mother and his closest friend. Through him they find a new place and a new hope. Even in the darkest moment, Jesus Christ comes to us and makes a new place of nurture and hope for us. All we have to do is cooperate, listen to him, and, as John did with Mary, do what he says. How do we find consolation when fear and alarm or struggle and suffering strike us? Many people would say through our parents, often through our mothers. For plenty of others, that is not true. Parenting is not simple. The one who bore us may be one who fails us, even betrays us, or the one who has died, who has left us. I suspect Saint Anselm, a long ago Archbishop of Canterbury, knew much about love from his mother. He likens God to a mother in his song, and he speaks so tenderly of that relationship of love that he can only have learned it at home. Jesus, he says, like a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. All love has its source in the immeasurable, wonderful love of God. All consolation comes from God through being loved and it comes to us abundantly so that we can give it to others. Paul is breathtakingly honest at the beginning of the second letter to the Corinthians. He speaks of suffering and failure that almost destroyed him. Yet somehow God consoled him in such a way that he could console others. How did that happen? We don't know. Perhaps through friends. Perhaps in deep prayer. God gives me consolation in moments of desolation in all sorts of ways. The love of family silent contemplation in this chapel, the prayers of a friend or friends. To console others, we must find our own consolation in God. It's not a case of fake it till you make it. It is more seek until you find. Come to God looking for the means to console the frightened, the panic struck, the panic buying, fearful, and all those around in whom alarm is rising. In all of the current troubles, and let's be straight, they are very serious troubles, looking inwards will only reveal the limits of our own resources and lead to deeper fear and selfishness. Acting in love found from God in Jesus Christ will do the exact reverse. As we look out from ourselves in love, we can enable people to find the place of their nurture, not their historic place, but a new place where they meet God and find his consolation. 
As we share our consolation, the mother love of God will enfold them. As we love the poor, go and give to a food bank, call on someone who is isolated, do their shopping, pray with and for them from a distance, we will find that we are deeply consoled by our own gift of consolation. Someone I know well, filled with understandable anxiety, posted a letter through every door in the street where she lives, inviting people to join her in caring for one another. The immediate result was wonderful. Strangers responded. Hope began. Of such small acts of love, we make new communities, as Jesus did with his mother and the beloved disciple. Of such small consolation, we create hope in a time of sickness. And we find God and know our call, driving out fear, filled with faith. Amen. the very beginning of the church there have been times where Christians cannot meet together for all kinds of reasons and yet they can still share faith and prayers together and one of the ways in which we do that is through the words of the creeds. The creeds remind us of the faith of the church universal beyond borders and beyond time. Saying the creed reminds us that even when we're separated and dispersed we share our faith and our prayers with Christians throughout the world and throughout the centuries. And so let us say the Apostles' Creed. Praise God who loves us. Praise, Praise God, God who cares. cares. Let us declare our faith in God. I believe, I believe in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, 
Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he and will he come, come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life eternal. Amen. Let us pray. As children of a loving God, who always listens to our cries, let us pray to our Father in heaven. God of love and kindness, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need, as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick and to assure the isolated of our love and of your love. God of love, Hear our prayer. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid, or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. God of love, hear yeah. our prayer. Merciful God, we entrust to your tender care those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them, comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength through Jesus Christ our Lord. God of love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who are facing war, conflict and displacements, as well as the challenges of COVID-19. And we place all your precious children into your hands. God of love, hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. As God's children and heirs with Christ, we cry in the Spirit, Abba, Father. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Loving God, accept the cries of our heart as we offer you prayers. Through them, transform us and all creation until you are in all and through all. We ask these and all our prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Christ be with me.
Praise God who loves us. Praise, Praise God, God who cares. May God who gave birth to all creation bless you. May God who became incarnate by an earthly mother bless you. May God who broods as a mother over her children bless you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. The Church of England will be providing a range of digital and print resources to enable people to continue to walk with God at this difficult time in the life of the nation and of the world. Visit churchofengland.org to keep up to date and to explore the materials available. Just a reminder that on this day, Mothering Sunday, in this country we have called for a day of prayer and loving action. Prayer for deliverance from illness and from the virus, loving action to serve those afflicted. And we have also suggested that you put a light in your window at 7pm in your own time zone and you pause for a moment, look at the other lights if you can see them, and pray, committing yourselves afresh into the hands of God and praying for those who are suffering. Thank you. May God keep you. And may we each love and serve and pray for one another. Now, 